Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a easy minimal makeup look for you guys because I've noticed recently on my channel I've been doing a lot of kind of like full coverage heavy glam look so I thought I would bring something a little more wearable and easier. I saw a lot of requests recently after I did my full coverage foundation routine where I wasn't really wearing any, well I wasn't wearing any eye makeup, I'd just done my skin. A lot of requests for a minimal makeup look just because you guys liked the appearance of me not wearing really heavy glam so I thought I would show you a minimal makeup look that um, it's still really put together but just kind of using a lot less products, a lot less coverage products, something still really like pretty and wearable for any time of the day obviously you can switch out any products that you want for ones that suit you more these are just ones that are tailored to me and which ones I prefer but I do give a few options so I hope you find that helpful but yeah if you like the look of this makeup look then please keep watching so even when I know that I'm not really going to be wearing a lot of makeup, I still want my skin to feel really hydrated, especially as I always say, around this time of year my skin gets really dry. So to prep my skin for the makeup I'm going to put on top of it, I am using the Soap and Glory, what is it, Bright and Beautiful 6-in-1 Radiant Serum. I really like this just to give my skin that kind of glow from within underneath and it's a really easy product just to whack on really quickly even if you're in a rush you just want your skin like it says to feel really energized after you just wake up so yeah I really like this product for that and I'm gonna apply that now Once that's soaked in, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin, and for this I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. This is like my go-to primer when I'm applying makeup, basically as soon as I've woken up or barely been awake for a few hours or anything. Just because it's really glowy on the skin, it feels so nourishing and hydrating, and it's a really good primer anyway. Like whenever I wear this, anything that I put on top of it I find lasts a really long time and looks really good. So yeah, I'm going to use this, and like I said, it has a really nice glow to it as well. For my base, as it's kind of easy, minimal makeup, I'm not going to be wearing a foundation, I'm going to be wearing a CC cream, and two of the CC creams that I'm in love with is the Your Skin But Better It Cosmetic CC Cream, and also the Olay um, Hydration 2-in-1 BB Cream. The BB Cream is a bit more of a lighter coverage, I'd say, and because it's um, combined with Olay Skincare, it's a lot more hydrating on the skin, so it's kind of more of like a tinted moisturiser. Whereas this CC cream is a tiny bit more full coverage. I'd say you can really um, build up coverage with this and make it more of like a foundation. But it's still going to be really hydrating because it's a CC cream. So the, either these two are my favourite. But for today I'm going to be using this one. Purely just because I think the undertone of this one um, goes a bit better with my tan. So yeah, just applying a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. Literally just two little ones and then I'm going to be buffing it into my skin. Normally I would do my eyebrows first. I always prefer to do my eyebrows before skin, but because this is really lightweight, I don't mind doing my skin first. Now on to eyebrows. If you're lucky enough to have a beautifully naturally shaped brow and barely need to add anything to it. Just to tidy up and just neaten the shape, I really, really love the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. So if you're in like a rush, this is amazing just to really quickly run through your brows, couple of coats, and they look incredible. But unfortunately, as you can see, I wasn't blessed with a full eyebrow. I have naturally quite short eyebrows, so for me to feel comfortable, because I feel like brows are such a statement part of the face, and I just wish they had a bit more shape, color, everything to them. Um, I really love to use the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate then whack a bit of this through just to set it all in place. I do have a tutorial on my eyebrows, it's a bit more um, in depth but I feel like it's really boring to watch people do their eyebrows because everyone's different but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. Brow transformation complete. Now to continue on with the skin. I like to wear a bit of concealer under my eyes just because I feel like it adds a bit more shape and dimension to your face. If um, When your face is just kind of flat with just one product on it, I just feel like it looks 
not odd because I feel like I've each to their own, but you know, I just feel like I need something a bit more. So I don't know why I'm explaining myself. But yeah, I really like the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer for under my eyes. This one is in the shade True Ivory, so it's just slightly lighter than my skin tone. And I'm just going to pl be placing a bit of that under my eyes like so and then I think that in just with a little concealer brush you could use your fingers or anything or a sponge or whatever whatever you like I'm just gonna be using a brush then while my skin is still got all of the cream products on it I'm gonna go in with another cream product which I know you guys know that I love which is the bourgeois bronzing primer I find this is just the quickest way to apply a really nice bronze look to your skin and like just really warm up your face without um it looking too heavy creams for me are the most natural which is why I like I always say I like to layer layer creams in a way that looks really natural when doing minimal makeup so I'm just taking a little stippling brush and buffing that into my cheeks top of my forehead and anywhere that I really want to warm up So for me, like I said, that's kind of like the quickest way I find to just kind of give you that really effortless looking skin in terms of wanting to wear minimal makeup but still looking really put together. Creams for me are the way forward, but if you have slightly more of oilier skin, go uh, powders are probably your preferred choice. But for me that I have more dry skin, they're just the products that I like to use. Then just to set everything in place, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC30. Just really lightly, because um, it's a powder foundation, so it can be quite full coverage if you want it to. But if you use it really sparingly, it's just a really nice set setting powder and makes everything last all day, I find. So I'm just going to use that um, all over my face to set it all. final touch to my skin I am just going to add a bit of highlighter and this is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm just because I think a little highlighter on the cheeks goes a long way in terms of just making your skin look really put together and healthy and glowy so just applying a little bit of that on the tops of my cheekbones and cupid's bow. With skin done I'm now moving on to eyes. Um, like I said I think the same method with skin applies to eyes for me as well. If I'm going to be really quick and minimal and just want something that I know is going to look really nice but without wearing too much, I really like cream products in the eyes. So a few of my favourites I thought I'd share are the um, Makeup Revolution Rose Gold Foiled Eyeshadow. Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadow Pencil in the shade Champagne Diamonds. So they're all of like a similar... Ooh, all of like a similar rose goldy colour just because I think that's really nice for every day. It's nothing too dramatic or anything like that. And also the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Yogurt. I really like that one as well. Um, today I'm just going to use the, ooh, the Makeup Revolution Foiled Eyeshadow just all over my lid. And that's going to be it for eyeshadow. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go in a tiny bit with the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. So I'm not using any other products. I'm just using one that we've already used and just going to apply that in my inner corner just to brighten it up slightly. Then this is an optional step, but for me it makes such a difference. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. These are the MAC Half Lashes and I'm... Half Lashes? These are the MAC Half Eyelash Curlers and these are like my favourite colours of all time. I don't know what it is about them being so small. I feel like you just get much more of a precise curl when using them. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then apply mascara. Like so. And my chosen mascara is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara, just because I absolutely love the formula of this one. It's not too clumpy. The brush is really firm as well. So for me, I've got little lashes, so this really coats every lash and really helps to cone them as well. And the little, um, it's almost got like a 360 brush and the little uh, brush thing at the end really 
is useful on like your bottom lashes and those little annoying inner corner ones. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. So that's all I'm going to do for the eyes, which I know is super minimal, but that is the whole point of this video. Something a bit easier and wearable for you guys. So now moving on to the lips. I'm going to be wearing a lipstick and a lip gloss. You can wear either or, or both the same as me. I recently just picked up the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Buttercup. So I really want to try this and use this. It's a really pretty pinky, like rosy shade. So I'm going to apply this. And then on the top, wear the Tanya Burr lip gloss in the shade Daydream just to lighten up the colour slightly. And I prefer a glossier lip on um, like a minimal makeup day just because I feel it ties in with having like minimal on the eyes and it just adds a little gloss and sort of sparkle, you know what I mean? So it brings something to the table. So that is the colour of the lipstick on its own. And for me, it's just a tiny bit too pink. So I, like I said, I'm just going to be lighting it lightening it slightly so this is the finished makeup look for my easy minimal makeup i hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it like i said at the beginning of the video i've done a lot of really full coverage heavy duty makeup and i know that's not for everyone especially this time of year when you're still working or at school or just i feel like this time of year everyone gets really lazy because it's cold and stuff so i just wanted to show you a minimal makeup look that's really easy to do kind of requires minimal products and you can switch out or add to or do anything you want with this look but it's still, I feel, really put together and you could wear this out or doing nothing, just whatever. I feel these tutorials aren't obviously as fun as like doing like a really um, winged out smoky eye and stuff. But then realistically, you don't wear that all the time. So trying to keep things diverse on this channel. And I see the comments of people that want to see something more minimal. So I hope this answered your comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave future video recommendations in the comments below. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Rach Leary and on Twitter at Rach underscore Leary. I think my Snapchat is at Rach Leary as well, but yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of pre-filming next week because the week after I'm in America. But obviously when I get back from America, I'm going to film a haul of the stuff that I get. And let me know if you want to like see maybe a vlog while I'm out there or something. Because I've never really done one before and I probably wouldn't do it as like a follow me vlog I'd probably just kind of film bits maybe put it all together as like just to show you what I did on my holiday kind of thing so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something like that and kind of see a bit more in what I do in a day-to-day -day life because if you guys like that then I might do them a bit more but yeah until the next video I will see you soon bye guys